In this video, we're going to take a look at the new transform manipulator as it relates to the 3D view and triplanar projection. All right, so to demonstrate this, I'm using our trusty old friend Meet Matt, and uh, here in the layer stack, I'm just going to create uh, a fill layer, and we'll just disable all of our channels. And here for the base color, I'm just going to select something like this uh, black and white spots one. So now we have a noise that's being applied uh, through our fill layer. And for the projection type, I'm going to set this here to the triplanar projection. And you'll notice that now here in the 3D view, we have this manipulator that we can use to transform this triplanar projection. So here you can see to start, we have our translation handles and I can move this uh, depending on which axis handle I select, or of course I could just transform all axes at the same time. Here at the top of the viewport, we see that we now have a toolbar uh, specifically for working with this manipulator. So here you can see that we have an, a manipulator size that we can adjust. I can also toggle the visibility of this manipulator by just tapping the Q key on the keyboard. And uh, here again, we have translate, rotate, and scale. And you can use the keyboard shortcut W, E, and R to switch between these modes. W is transform, E is rotate, and R is scale. So here, if we go back to E, which is gonna take me to my rotate tool, again, I can adjust that manipulator size. And here I can select an axis to rotate the projection on. And if I hold down the shift key while I start to do this rotation, I can snap this in increments. Now, if I need to redo or reset this, I can always come back here to this reset button here, which is gonna restore the transformation. Now, this bounding box that you see here outside of the view represents the size of the projection. Here, we also have this angle steps control, which allows us to set which increment we want to use when we're using snap. So again, I'm holding down shift, left click on this rotation axis and I'm snapping by the angle step. Here I can just enter in a new value or use the slider. We can also choose to work within object space or we can choose world space. So for example here, I'm just going to do a rotation and then if I hit the W on the keyboard to switch back here to the transform tool, you can see that here we're in object space. However, if I switch this back to world space, I can now manipulate the transform here in world space. So here I'm going to do a translation and we have these buttons here that allow us to mirror that transformation. So for example, if I choose X, I can mirror an X or here I can choose to mirror transformation in Y. And finally here we have the ability to mirror transformation in Z. Again, we can hit this restore the transformation just to reset everything back to default. Again, here if we go back to the fill, you can see that we now have new triplanar projection settings here where we can use these sliders or inputs to enter in precise values for the projection transformation. So that's how the new transform widget works here for the triplanar projection. This allows you to visualize the projection in the 3D view, as you can see here through this size cube, as well as use the manipulator to transform, rotate, and scale the projection. Thanks a lot for watching, and I'll see you next time.